after Final Fantasy 3 came out, they started toying with the idea of making a more action-based game. And during development, they even called it Chrono Trigger. What this game eventually truly became was Secret of Mana. There are even Moogles in it. Hey everyone, it's Stellar Nan. For today's video in my SNES Classic Craft series, I'll be making a replica of the Flammy Drum from Seeker of Mana. This drum is an item that you can get halfway through the game that summons a flying beast named Flammy. You save Flammy earlier in the game, and when it's older, as a thank you, it allows you to ride on its back for faster travel in the overworld. When I first played through Secret of Mana, I immediately recognized this item as a children's noisemaker toy commonly found throughout East Asia. Secret of Mana is a game I definitely recommend. It's a JRPG with a real-time battle system and you can have up to three players. Three? Why yes! With the multi-tap accessory, you can use up to three Super Nintendo controllers at once. You start as an orphan boy who finds a rusty sword that gets him exiled from his village. You meet a girl who wants to save her boyfriend from the Empire. And you also run into a sprite that's lost its memory. Though they start out the game with different motives, they eventually band together and unite to save the world. For this craft, you'll need the printed template that you can find in the description box below, white poster board, or an at least 14 inch by 8 inch piece of one. One wooden dowel that's at least 12 inches long and at least 3 eighths of an inch wide. A spool of beading wire, I use 20 gauge wire cutters two large brown beads, a ruler, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, scotch tape, E6000 glue, something to protect your work surface from paint, a small paintbrush and a cup of water, and lastly, light brown, pink, dark purple, black, and yellow paint. First, paint the wooden dowel brown and set it aside to dry. Measure a 14 inch by 1 inch segment from the poster board, mark it with a pencil, and cut it out. Paint this strip brown as well and set it aside to dry. Cut out the drum template piece. With the pencil, trace the template onto your white poster board twice. Then cut them out. Cut out the two painting references. Additionally, cut out the white segments from the black and white design of the painting reference too. With a pencil, trace the black and white design onto the drum head pieces. Using the printed painting reference as a guide, paint both drum head poster board pieces the corresponding colors of yellow, pink, purple, and black. After you're satisfied with how it looks and the paint has dried, Fold all the tabs on both pieces so that they will be easier to work with. Tape all the tabs flush together on each drum head so that it creates two cylindrical lids. Cut an 18 inch piece of wire. Using E6000 glue, paste the drum heads together with one of them tucked in. Make sure the color designs match up before gluing. With your wire, carefully poke a hole and thread it horizontally through your drum. 
with the yellow segment being at the bottom. With E6000 glue, take the side strip you painted brown earlier and carefully glue it starting from the bottom where the yellow part is all the way around your drum. Stop where the wire is and using an X-Acto knife make a small hole and thread your wire through. Continue gluing until you reach the second wire and repeat the same steps until the entire drum is covered. Next, we'll need to make two small incisions to help add the dowel to the drum. To do so, using an X-Acto knife, make two small plus signs at the top and bottom of your drum. Slowly and carefully slide the dowel through the drum until about one and one fourth inch of the dowel extends through the top of the drum. Add some E6000 glue where the dowel meets the drum to keep it in place and prevent it from sliding around. After the glue has dried, add a tiny bit of brown paint to cover the white glue. Finally, add one bead to each of the ends of the wire sticking out of the drum and wrap them securely into place. Give your wire a slight bend towards the longer end of the dowel and you're good to go. And with that, the Flammy Drum is complete. It's Flammy's favorite toy. Use it anywhere and he'll come to you. The development of Secret Amana is actually really interesting. It was intended for the Nintendo PlayStation CD add-on. You can fit a whole lot more on a CD than on a cartridge. So when the add-on was canceled, they ended up having to cut 40% of their original game just so it would fit on the cartridge. Ted Woolsey, the English translator for Secret of Mana, was famously only given 30 days to translate into English to make it in time for the Christmas sales period. Speaking of Christmas, did you know you could fight Santa Claus in the game? The music in Secret of Mana is really phenomenal. One of the game's composers, Roki Kikuta, used a stopwatch to time his music to the sprite-based animations by hand. I can't wait for the new remake. Can you? Thank you for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it and want to support me, join the Stella fam by subscribing to my channel. Stay stellar!